Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Ain't no such thing as a loss. We taking wins home. Green, come with me. Hey, 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 here we go. Winston from the gun on third down. And he is caught, it's Perriman. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. On first down, it's Jones. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs are going to retake the lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now 17-14. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Vita Vea breaking through to get the sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. After the sack here, second and 11. Here's Wilson. Left side complete to Lockett. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, Check. executed it to perfection. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Operating from the gun, Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Shaquille Barrett coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. To throw is Wilson. And he's got his man on the comebacker. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown? That gives them a lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Now it's Penny. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brings up second and seven at the 41-yard line.
Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. That's going to be a long day. That's going to be a long day. Go on. Go on. Go on. Stay at home. Stay at home. Here's Wilson. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. Past the 20. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for Buccaneer TD. Ah, uh, yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, uh, you're bringing back great memories. You used to love that drill. And a lot of times in practice, you work on it not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it. And then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you, what do you yell? Uh, for, for, for us, it was Oski. Okay, Oski different was an things for different teams. Different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, was Frankenstein. You don't want it to be a too many syllables. Yeah. You, want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Shaquille Barrett in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now Wilson, escaping the pressure right. He'll run it, finding room at the 30. 27 yards there, a first down. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game's slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Shaquille Barrett able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Throwing now is Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. And finding the tight end, Wilson. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's Wilson. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Now those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice gain. Whether it's a touchdown or a field goal, whatever it is, they need to score quickly here on first down. Wilson to throw. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. They come up in an offset eye. Now Wilson. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it.
And the Seahawks have picked it up. So they needed the onside kick. They got it. Now they need a field goal. And that's the beauty of this. They don't have to get six. A field goal ties the ball game for them. Nicely executed play. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, there he goes right side. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. They had just given up the lead, and they get it right back. Yeah, how about that? Answered quickly. Got right back to it. And look, long drives have their place. We know that. They can wear teams down. But when you hit them with big plays like that, that can really be a shot to them, a big-time one. Yeah, one play, but now your defense is probably saying, man, we could have used a little <laughs> more rest over here. <laughs> Now Myers for the extra point. And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This will be taken short. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and making an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short of the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. on first down that leads to a second and ten one last shot now for Winston now a desperation and oh a crusher there as it's intercepted Shaquille Griffin with a pick and they are going to take over right there at the 22 yard line well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here, coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it, and they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brian.